What are the people saying? The first local government out of the Tanzanian local government is more than many states in the north. The economy is booming. Where is the economy booming? Bomb blast in Abuja. Don't you have security? Why are we fighting? President should not just sit in Abuja or in Asokoro or wherever he lives. The are supposed to be broken around. They're not there. Men cannot be there and be there at the same time. The life of the citizens, community, need to be protected. It's going to work out. Bring the message of peace. Let there be proper devolution of power from the center. The center is too powerful. The people, only on Core TV News. Hello, once again, we welcome you to the program Core Digest. Without much preamble, today we're discussing the issue of what I describe as a double-edged sword. The issue of corruption on one side and stealing on the other side. I call it double-edged because tell me which is easier or which is nicer. Corruption, stealing. The statement is credited to the chairman of ICPC, Mr. Epo Unta, who recently, at a meeting with a uh, society of engineers, those who are current related, I uh, will get to talk about current, uh, saying that people erroneously refer to stealing as corruption. We must go back to what we were taught in school to show that we are educated Nigerians. That is, stealing is not corruption. Mm. Well, uh, talking about ordinary meaning, because this work a lot in courts and within legal uh, palaces, uh, I guess this morning it's no other than a legal practitioner of repute, and one who will interpret and look at this subject for us, particularly this double-edged sword as it concerns uh, one of the bigwigs in the corruption uh, uh, enclave. Our guest is Mr. Fred Agbaje. Good Thank morning, you. sir. Thank you so much for it's having me. It's good to have you here. Thank you so much. You know, some things come up and you, for a second, go back to what you were really taught in school. And I think the nation has been put in that situation where you Indeed. have to go back to your dictionary and really, what's the meaning of stealing? <laughs> but let me put it to you. Uh -huh. What is the philosophy behind differentiating between stealing and corruption? Because it's not the first time we're hearing that stealing is oh. not corruption. Thank you so much. I was going to uh, make an addendum by way of correction to the fact that the statement was credited to um, the ICPC chairman, Mr. Mm. Epo Nta, who said there's a world of difference between stealing and corruption, and that what is happening in Nigeria today is, is uh, mainly stealing and not uh, corruption. Mm -hmm. And then thank you so much again for your question, the, f the philosophical basis of um, differentiating. You see, in the realm of criminal law, an accused person must know exactly what you are charging him for. In other words, if you say somebody has stolen, you must give the particulars of the fact that have led to you to conclude that a theft has taken place. And if you are going to accuse somebody of corruption, you must also give the scenario, the facts that made you to believe. Because you are the prosecutor. Mm -hmm. The onus is on you, constitutionally speaking, because under the constitution, an accused person is deemed to be innocent, even if he's the worst murderer on it, an alleged murderer, or he has stolen all your money. And perhaps you have all the evidence on earth to show that that's why they stole my money. Until that case is established against him, the man can still walk on the street as an innocent person. Hmm. Because that's what the constitution presumes. And I will tell you later that one of the reasons, one of my recommendations for the fight against corruption is this. Is on how to look at this presumption, presumption of, innocence. of innocence. I didn't. Just try to remind me. I don't run away from you. <laughs> then coming back to the your question, like like you said, why do we different? We must differentiate because you cannot take me to court and say, well, we are charging you for both stealing and corruption. No, different different facts constitute each of the offenses. Different elements. It's for you to establish it. But coming specifically to what we have on our hand, mm. yes, semantically. Semantically, you could say uh, what S, S was accused for, piece of, it's not corruption, it's stealing. Semantically. And technically speaking, yes, fact, you could be correct. 